Mr. Dawson, you are from the United Kingdom and you are a United Kingdom citizen. Uh, the United Kingdom has strong relations to the South Africa. What is your relation to this country? Well, being uh, British, uh, we have a great affinity with South Africa. People often think it's just a Boer country, but no, there's a lot of British people went there. And I have cousins who, who have lived in South Africa for 30, 35 years. And uh, it's a very sad place now. Uh, and my own family, you know, I have pictures of them having to patrol their own garden with machine guns. And it's so unsafe. Um, and I'm ashamed uh, as a British citizen that our government has made it so difficult for South Africans to move and come to Britain. We seem to have our doors open for everybody in the world. Refugees from Syria, from Africa, from places that we can't even pronounce, that we have no connection with, zero connection. But we, we allow these people, in fact, we encourage them to come to Britain. But here we have our own flesh and blood trapped in South Africa, unable to get out, unable to go anywhere. I think this is a, a, a terrible, terrible, terrible thing. And I think the government... Uh, it really is a disgrace for allowing this to happen. But the British public also have to wake up to this and, and speak out and say, let the South Africans out. As Moses said, let my people go. Mr. Dawson, you belong to the Presbyterian Church in the UK. How do you feel as a member of the Presbyterian Church towards South Africa people, towards Boers? Well, I, you know, obviously, I, I don't. I think we need to put our cards on the table, and we have to nail our colours to the mast. These are my fellow Protestants, Calvinists, and I would say to church leaders in Britain, Church of England, Church of Ireland, Presbyterian Church, you do not have the option. It is a holy obligation upon you, a directive from God to protect your own people, and that means all Christian people, but especially those of your own denomination. How can these church leaders ignore the plight of the Boers? You know, <clears throat> for years in England, we've seen every church leader under the sun, especially the left-wing ones, on the street, end apartheid, end apartheid. Apartheid never ended. It just reversed. Now we have uh, an apartheid in South Africa that discriminates against the white population. Now, let me be very clear. I am against racism. God created all human beings, and he made people in different colours and different shades. Why did he do it? I have no idea. Do I care? No. Judging a man because of the colour of his skin is ludicrous. Not only that, it's ungodly. It's sinful. So just as I was totally against apartheid, against the black population, I am equally opposed against, the, against apartheid, against the white population. But where are all these church leaders? Where are all the liberals? Where are all the MPs on the streets of London saying, end apartheid? Let's let end apartheid, all apartheid, anti-black, anti-white. Let's finish it all. Uh, in the modern world, we use a very special term, which is racism. We usually heard this term by those who claimed that white people fought against black ones in order to suppress them and kill them. Is there any different interpretation of this word racism, which means not just white people can exercise racism against other ones, against blacks or vice versa. Of course, and this is the problem. For many years, every weekend in my own town, and I've been on some of the demonstrations, anti-apartheid demonstrations. I've been on them because I am opposed to racism. God made all human beings, different colours. Who knows why? I don't care why. Judging a man because of the colour of his skin pigmentation is ludicrous and it's sinful. If you're a Christian, you, this is not acceptable. But it is equally sinful to discriminate against a man because his skin is black. Just the same to discriminate against a man because his skin is white. So, you know, I, I say end all apartheid, but apartheid is still active in South Africa. Now it's apartheid against the whites. There is, there is over 400,000 white people in South Africa living in squatter camps. Can you imagine this? They're dis actively discriminated against in the civil service. They're put out of jobs. 
the, and we see in Zimbabwe they put out farms and this kind of thing, and the world is silent. This is unacceptable. And if we allow this to go on, it tells the next generation that discrimination and racism is okay in certain circumstances. This is a bad message. All racism is wrong, apartheid is wrong, discrimination is wrong, and it has to end. And I suppose genocide is wrong again, which is uh, killing uh, nations, communities, without real uh, allowance of God. And uh, I would uh, ask you regarding the solution, which must be very difficult, but somehow we have to think of the solution as well. What is your opinion on that? Well, it's, 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 it's a very difficult problem, but I, I live in Northern Ireland, so I'm an Ulster Protestant. I understand the, the problems we have with communal violence and things like this. I understand it. And I also understand the determination of some boers to dig their heels in <clears throat> and say, we're not moving, we're not budging, this is the land of our forefathers. I come from that stable. Some of my family were burned out of County Cavan in the 1920s and I was determined to move from Scotland back to Northern Ireland again to take my land again. So I understand where the boers are coming from. However, we have to understand, apart from the huge murder campaign of genocide against these people, you have to look at the birth rate. Now I looked at last year and it's something ridiculous, like only 3% of the live births in South Africa were from the Boer community. There is one thing being brave and being determined, which is the Calvinist trait, yes, and standing your ground and not budging. But when you're 3%, this is foolhardy, this is silly, this is nonsense. As Christians, our duty is to make sure our people, our children, our grandchildren have a safe environment to flourish, to breed, to have children, to have families of their own and to have a good life and to worship God in freedom and peace. You cannot do that when you are 3%, and this is what will be in a generation. 3% against 97% who are run by a Marxist, ideological, racist government who are determined to exterminate the, the white population of South Africa. It, this, this now becomes foolhardy to stay in this situation. And, you know, to be critical of the Boers, I have spoke to some Boers who say, we will not move, we never move. And I said, how do you think you got there in the first place? You moved from Europe because of persecution to a new land. Now the persecution is there. There is no shame. There is no dishonour. And get hitching your wagons and moving again. And I believe the Boers need a safe haven, like Central Europe. Hungary is ideal because it's got a large Calvinist population and the Catholic population is very friendly with the Calvinists. Everybody works together. And the Boers can add so much to the economy of Hungary. They're expert farmers, they're law-abiding, they're decent, they're hard-working. So it's a win-win situation. The Boers have a safe sanctuary to come to, to rebuild their, their lives and their families. And Hungary benefits because you have fantastic, hard-working, decent, honest people wishing to come. And, you know, the Boers won't be separate. The Boers will be the best Hungarian. In one generation, the Boers will be fantastic Hungarians. They will be Hungarians that Hungarians can be proud of. Uh, if You know, I would not encourage anybody to come to anybody else's country to impose their own culture. No. People have to come. They have to assimilate, which I believe the Boers will do. And I believe the Hungarians will be hand, put the hand of Christian friendship out for our brothers and our sisters who are suffering persecution. This is like the time of Moses. The South African government must be told, let our people go. And we, as Christians, not just in Hungary, but in Britain and all other countries, we must be Christian and accept these people into our midst and look after them. If we can allow Syrians to come to our country, if we can allow all these other refugees, what is wrong with Boers? Is it because they're white? Is it? Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.